can't fade you, boy. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Daniel, and today I am here with another home theater PC build, this time for $500, and yeah, let's get right into it. For the CPU, or APU, I should say, I'm with the AMD A10 7850K 3.7 gigahertz quad-core processor. Uh, this is $185 and is a beast of an APU. Uh, so we'll be able to do things like stream 4K video um, to your TV and stuff like that without a hitch, really. So um, not many people's internet connection is good to actually stream, stream it, you know, from the internet or anything. But, you know, if you have... Um, you know, like DVDs or whatever, if you have uh, MP4 files that are 4K for some reason, uh, anywhere, you could just, you know, put them on this and run them on 4K to your 4K TV, assuming that you have one. But anyways, yeah, that's awesome. Moving on to the CPU cooler. I want the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo sleeve bearing CPU cooler. Uh, this is $30 and you may need to do some height adjustments in your case, uh, being that I did go with a small form factor micro ATX um, home theater PC case for this build uh, and this is a fairly large CPU cooler so you may need to do some adjustments or just get a different CPU cooler altogether. There are a lot of CPU coolers that um, are more flat laid down on top of the, uh, where the or where the fan I should say is flat and laid down on top of the CPU without an actual heat sink. Uh, you may want to go for one of those. You can find those for pretty cheap like $10 or so uh, depending on which kind you buy. So yeah, that's that for the motherboard. I'm with the ASUS A88XMA Micro ATX FM2 motherboard, or it's actually FM2 Plus because that is what Kaveri requires. Uh, so it is an FM2 Plus motherboard. This is $78.99 and will support everything perfectly. ASUS is a great motherboard manufacturer. Manufacturer? Yeah, I can't speak today. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, ASUS is pretty legit. Enough said there. For the memory, I'm with G-Skill Ripjaws X series. 8 gigabytes, which is two sticks of 4 gigabytes, DDR3, 2133 megahertz memory. Uh, this is $85, and the cast latency does go up by one on this um, as compared to standard RAM, which standard RAM is usually a cast latency of nine, uh, depending on most gaming RAM anyway, is uh, cast latency nine. This is cast latency 10, but the reason that I went with 2133 megahertz is, uh, for most people this will be obvious, but... Um, the APU, which is the CPU-ish type thing that we're using here, uh, also does have a graphics chip on it, and it doesn't have dedicated memory for the graphics chip, so you're going to want to um, get the best uh, and the fastest RAM possible for that graphics chip to use, and 2133 is pretty much where it's at, because most of the clock speeds above 2133 uh, tends to jump proportionally up price-wise, so I think this is the best you're going to get for the money. So for the storage, I want the Western Digital Caviar Blue, one terabyte, 7200 RPM internal hard drive. This is $60 right now and will support many movies or whatever you're going to be watching. Even if you want to put like songs on here and just play them uh, through, you know, whatever speakers you're going to be using with your TV, that'd be cool too. Uh, a terabyte is more than enough room. But again, you can upgrade this to like Caviar Black two terabyte or three terabyte or four terabyte or anything like that, or even if you feel like it and don't mind um, the consequences that come with, you know, getting a Seagate drive, uh, and I won't go into that in this video, you could definitely do that for a lot cheaper. So yeah, for the case, I'm with the Silverstone ML04B home theater PC case. This is $75 and is one of the best home theater PC cases around. Uh, it is a great case, enough said. I'm not exactly a home theater enthusiast, nor do I know a ton about it, but I know that this case is very good. Enough said, really. Moving on to the power supply, I'm with the Corsair Builder Series, 430 watt, CX430, 80 plus bronze certified ATX power supply. Right now, this is $20 and will support everything we have, being that, at the most, this system is going to use 200 watts, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So, yeah. We'll have a lot of overhead in here, which if you guys don't know, you actually do need a little bit of overhead to get maximum efficiency with your power supply. Um, you know, if if you buy a 430 watt power supply and are using like 420 watts, you're not going to get the best efficiency. Uh, so anyways, that's that. So yeah, guys, like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new here. I post content every other day. Thanks for watching.
and peace.